taking a look at the numbers here, President Trump's State of the Union address was one hour and 18 minutes. For comparison, last year it was one hour and 22 minutes, and that was the third longest State of the Union in history. Now, we obviously can't fact check everything that was said in those minutes, right? Which is why we cover everything right here. That's right. It is just as close as your computer. You can go to our website for a breakdown. But what we can do right now is verify two of those items mentioned. Under my administration, 7 million Americans have come off food stamps and 10 million people have been lifted off of welfare. This claim is true, but it needs context. Food stamps is the shorthand for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Statistics do show the number of people receiving SNAP benefits dropped by roughly 6 to 7 million during Trump's first term. Additionally, the number of people receiving Medicare and children's health insurance decreased by about 4 million people. Now you combine those two and you wind up right around 10 million no longer on welfare programs. So we're rating this as verified as true, though it's important to note the Trump administration made changes to these programs, which meant some people no longer qualified for support. And because of that, we can't prove that all of the people were lifted off of welfare as the president said. Now to number two. Real median household income is now at the highest level ever recorded. This claim is true as well. In 2018, U.S. Census data showed the highest median income level at 63,179. Again, that was just two of the many claims that we verified. Check our website for more of President Trump's speech and the Democratic response by Governor Whitmer. We fact check them both. It's in the two wants to know section.